an example of a delta neutral or delta hedged strategy with adjustments. Delta hedge, obviously, our PNL is about at a thousand rupees. Now let's skip forward to the next day. You can see that our delta has exceeded 0.2, so we will once again delta hedge. We're going to square off this put option, head back to the option chain, and just close out the week at this PNL. Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. In this video, we're going to be demystifying a couple of very common buzzwords in the options trading space. Delta and hedge. What on earth is delta hedging? In this video, we're going to be discussing first and foremost what delta is, why we care about it as option traders, why we should even track it in the first place, and then also demonstrate an example of a delta neutral or delta hedged strategy with adjustments either intraday or positionally. Now, of course, it is no strategy recommendation. It is just to show you how this works. So first off, what is delta? Well, in simple terms, delta measures the sensitivity of your options price to movements in the underlying. So if the underlying moves by X points, by how many points will my option price change? That is what delta tells you. Now, delta is one of the option Greeks that we study to know a lot about our portfolio and its risk. Now, delta ranges from minus one to plus one, and it's different for calls and puts. For calls, the delta is a positive value, so it ranges between zero and plus one. For puts, however, it's a negative value, ranging between zero and negative one. Now, of course, this is from the perspective of the buyer of the option and not the seller. Now, puts have a negative delta and calls have a positive delta. But why so? Well, the delta of your position tells you where it wants the market to move. So for example, if my net delta is a positive number, then I would want the market to move up and that would benefit my position. If the delta is a negative value, then I would want the market to move down in order to benefit my position. And that makes sense, right? If I buy a call and my delta is positive, obviously I'd want the market to move up versus if I buy a put and my delta is thus negative, I would want the market to move down. Simple enough. Now, of course, if I sell a call, my delta is going to be negative, right? And I would thus want the market to move down. And if I sell a put, I'd want the market to move up as my delta is now positive. Now, delta is not static. It changes based on a lot of factors, but one very noticeable metric is strike price. So Let's head on over to Algotest Simulator to see how Delta changes with strike price. So I'm currently on the landing page of Algotest and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. I'm going to scroll all the way here to the nav bar where it says simulator and click on that. And you can see currently it's selected the bank nifty index and it's selected the 6 December expiry. We can see this is our ATM strike and this is ITM for calls and OTM and this is OTM for puts and ITM. Now you can see there's a column over here that says Delta and that tells us a Delta for each strike. You can see as you go in the money, your Delta is increasing. And as you go out of the money, your Delta is reducing. Same thing for puts going in the money. You can see Delta is going closer to negative one and OTM Delta is going closer to zero. And at ATM, your Delta is roughly 0.5. So what does this mean? If my Delta is 0.5, for example, for every one point that the market moves up or the underlying moves up, my options price will change by 0.5. Make sense? Similarly, if my Delta is positive 0.3 and the market moves up by 100 points, then my options price will move up by 0.3 into 100, which is 30 points. Okay, now that we've got the theoretical part out of the way, let's actually demonstrate how Delta hedging is used to build a strategy. By the way, if you don't know how to use our option simulator, we've linked the video below, so check it out. So back on the simulator page, I'm gonna go back in time to let's say the 22nd of November and at 9.20 a.m. And I'm gonna select the 22nd November expiry. So this is expiry day. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell a short straddle ATM, you know, not too far from being Delta neutral. So what I wanna do is every time my Delta increases beyond let's say 0.3 i will hedge against it how will i hedge you'll see now this is not a strategy recommendation this is not even something that you should trade without doing your due diligence 
We are just showing you how this concept works and how you can use it to change values and build your own system. It's 9.20 a.m. Let's just skip five minutes at a time. And now I can see that my delta has changed to beyond 0.3. So at this, in this case, what I'm going to do is go to position, square off my losing leg, and look at what my delta now is, right? My delta is now 0.29 negative, which you can also see over here. Head to the option chain, sell another option that has a delta very close to this, so as to bring it back to zero, right? So since I'm selling options, I need to sell this one. And selling the 43,400 strike, it has a delta of minus 0.28. You can head to the Greeks and see that now your net delta is around minus 0.01. Remember, these deltas that are shown to you are from the perspective of the buyer and not the seller. So if you want to look from the perspective of the seller, just simply flip this sign over here. So that is a delta hedge. You have rebalanced your deltas to be delta neutral again. Now let's skip forward in time again. Uh, Greek stab. Skip forward in time by five, five minutes. Oh, I don't even need to do that. I can just click on this autoplay tab and move forward by, let's say, 15 minutes every one second. All right, I'm going to click play. And whenever a delta exceeds 0.3, I'm going to rebalance it and rehedge it. Now, for this kind of trade, there's not too much of a benefit of rebalancing your deltas because you can see the max profit is only about 350 rupees at this point. But if you do this on another day where premiums are higher and you have more time, let's go back to the Monday and skip to 920. By the way, I'm just choosing 920 randomly. It's, it's not a calculated figure. Sell the ATM straddle. Our delta is pretty much zero. So this time, let's say every time our delta is beyond 0.2, we will rebalance the deltas to go back to neutral. Again, these are just random figures I'm taking. Your figure could be something else. But just for the purpose of this demonstration, let's take 0.2. So I'm going to click on autoplay. We're going to skip forward 15 minutes every one second. So there you go. Delta is at minus 0.2 here. You don't really have to, but I will delta hedge. So I'll square this off. And now my net delta is 0.4. Now I have to go back to the option chain and sell an option that has a 0.4 delta. Closest I can see is 43,900 over here and sell this option. Head back to my Greeks tab and now you can see our delta is roughly 0.01. And let's skip forward again now. Click on autoplay. So it's now 3.20 and the rest of the day pretty much played out normally and the delta did never really increase beyond 0.2 and here it's very close at 0.19 but the day is over so I will just close these positions. Square off. So that was from the perspective of an intraday position. Now let's show you an example when we trade positionally. So let's say we go back in time seven days before a particular expiry and then delta hedge all the way up until expiry. So I've selected 15 November as the date and the expiry date is 22nd November. I'm gonna sell an ATM straddle on the basis of futures price. Futures price is around 44,300. So that's what I have sold. Okay, so heading to the Greek tab, you can see our delta is 0.01 here. So we're gonna check out our net delta at 9.20 and at 3.15, at the end of the day and at the start of the day. Whenever we check this, we're gonna only hedge it if it's beyond 0.2, our delta. So at 0.920, we're good, delta is 0.01. Let's check at 3.15. At roughly 3.15, my delta is 0.13, so I'm still good. I've now skipped forward to the next day, which is 16th of November at 9.20. My net delta is 0.21 here, so I will delta hedge it. I will square off this losing leg, head back to the option chain. I have to sell a delta with 0.39. I'll sell this one, 44,000 put. Now my delta is 0.02, so we're pretty much delta hedged. Now, let's head to 315. At roughly 315 or the end of the day, our delta is zero, so we're not gonna delta hedge. Obviously, our PNL is about at a thousand rupees. Now let's skip forward to the next day. At around 920 the next day, you can see that our delta has exceeded 0.2, so we will once again delta hedge. We're gonna square off this put option, head back to the option chain. Our delta is 0.21. So we have to find another option with closest to 0.21. I'll just take 43,300 put, sell that, check in our Greek tab, or you can also check over here. Our net delta is now 0.03, negative. 
so we're good head to the end of the day and our delta is still below 0.2 although we're in a slight negative but no matter we will not adjust because it's not greater than minus or plus 0.2 heading to the next day now the next day you can see that our delta is around 0.2 at at 9:20 so let's say i won't adjust this only when it's more than that i will head to the end of the day and my delta is still below 0.2 so we're not going to make any adjustments on this day either now head to the next day on 21st november at 9:20 our delta is once again 0.03 so we're not going to adjust head to the end of the day and our delta is once again just barely anything so we're going to leave it hedged as it is head to the next day and the next day at 9:20 our delta is 0.05 now there's two things you can do here right you can of course go to the end of the day not adjust anything until then but this is expiry day and the max profit of my position is around 2600 rupees whereas my total mtm right now is 2400 rupees is it worth the entire day's risk to potentially lose out on this profit just to gain 200 rupees more maybe it's not so i personally in this position would square off and just close out the week at this pnl now this is not a strategy recommendation you should change a lot of things there you should potentially change the delta at which you adjust you should change maybe the time at which you're adjusting whether you're trading positionally intraday many things you can adjust so please play around with different permutations and combinations on our simulator tool perhaps you can try adjusting at a 0.4 delta 0.5 delta or maybe 0.1 delta find it out for yourself and figure out the best strategy for you if you don't delta hedge and if I, if you just sold a naked straddle in the long run maybe let's say 10 years or so your PNL would be the same as if you did delta hedge. So then why delta hedge? Well, it's to reduce the variance of your equity curve. Meaning, when you sell just a naked straddle, you will have bigger wins, but also bigger losses. So more risk and more drawdown. However, if you do delta hedge, your variance will be lower and your wins will be smaller, but so will your losses. So your drawdown will potentially, theoretically, be lower. Now, let's take this example, go back in time seven days, and let's see what happens if we just sold a naked straddle, we, we didn't make any adjustments. We just see every morning what's happening to the position. So I'll sell this based off the futures price. Go ahead one day and you can see we've made a profit of around 700 on just one day ahead. Going ahead another day. Now we're at a loss of minus 1209 and the kind of delta is 0 0.6. This time we're not hedging, right? Just to see what happens. Going forward again and again, you can see your delta is just completely unhedged and uh, your PNL is also reacting accordingly. So finally, you would have closed out this position at a loss of around 5,000 rupees. But this doesn't mean that delta hedging is better than not delta hedging. It just means that they have different characteristics. And if you want a lower drawdown, a lower risk, you would want to delta hedge. Secondly, this is not just limited to a straddle. For example, you can do this in a short strangle or perhaps an iron fly or an iron condor, whatever strategy you can imagine you can delta hedge it. So thanks for watching this video guys and I hope I've got you to think about different kinds of strategies and how you can build delta hedge dynamic strategies. Do use our simulator tool to assess how certain permutations and combinations would have performed and let us know in the comments below if you found it useful. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel for more updates and share this video with your friends. See you in the next one.